Congratulations, Collapsing Sunbeams, nominated for the Mercury Prize. How does it feel? I feel electrified. I've got butterflies. It, it feels like a real moment for me. It feels like a dream come true. And I don't say that lightly. You know, this is something that I would watch when I was a kid. Like I would be on the internet, you know, two in the morning, like checking who was shortlisted. And now I'm here. So it feels really wonderful. And what is it about your debut album that you think people have really connected with or that's really landed you in this place today? I guess what I'd like to think is the sense of honesty, the sense of humanity to it, because I'm just talking about what it is to be a human being growing up and falling out of love, falling in love, you know, going to those dark places. But it, it's all real. It's all things that I've lived. And I hope that people connect to that kind of three dimensional side of it. And where were you when you first found out that you got the nod? What was that moment like when you like found out? Yeah, I think, where was I? Oh yeah, I remember this moment. You're gonna like this story. So I was just like in my flat and my manager called me and he was like, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna be sitting down for this. And I was like, what, like, what is it? Like it was quite early in the morning. I was like quite grumpy, I haven't had my coffee. And he was like, you shortlisted for the Mercury. And I did literally just like, <laughs> fall back down to the ground. Yeah, it was great, it was great. And with everything that's going on, I mean, have you played a live show since, you know, the restrictions have been lifted? Or have you, like, how's So, so I did, I did um, Manchester International Festival. So I did two shows there. It was like just over a thousand people in like a 10,000 cap venue, all kind of seated and distanced. But this weekend, Latitude and Standing Calling are going to be the first, like, you know, proper festival, big shows. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for those. And is there, do you, like, do you feel any sense of fear around the kind of like safety precautions involved in that? How do you feel about everything that's involved in touring during this precarious time? I mean, I think there are definitely nerves involved, but I think it's about doing everything that I can within my band and my crew to make sure people are safe. And then also to trust that the festivals have kind of put measures in place to protect people. And then I guess that's all that can be done, just doing our best. Mm. There's a 20 grand prize, uh, might even be 25, one of the two. Um, if you win, where's that money going? What are you going to do? Hmm. I think I would, I would have to think about it more because I haven't even, my brain hasn't, <laughs> hasn't gone that far. Oh, yeah. mm. And just finally, um, new music, like what are you working on at the moment? Can we expect like a debut soon or where are you kind of going to sound? What are you doing at the moment? It's very, I'm doing a lot of sessions. I'm writing a lot. Um, the kind of format that the songs are going to come out in is still nebulous. You know, there are no concrete plans. I'm definitely making stuff. Sonically, what can you tell us? Is it kind of like the sound? Is it like the same? Or can you, what can you... Surprise. It's surprise. a surprise, sir. It's a surprise. Amazing. All right. You'll well, be more excited when it comes out and you'll be like... Yes, there we go. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time, Arlo. Yeah, thank uh, you. Bye-bye.